you know, in law, there are people who are great technicians, but then there are other people who, as a result of their experiences and, uh, you know, their, their interests and, uh, you know, the, the knowledge and wisdom that they have accumulated, when you put it all together and mix it up in a bowl, uh, out comes this thing called judgment. And that's what counseling is all about. And for a young man, AJ has accumulated uh, quite a bit. Uh, he has a, a great business mind and a great legal mind. Uh, and uh, that, that, that's an awesome, awesome combination. AJ is a true visionary. He doesn't just envision Philadelphia resurgent and being once again the most prominent region in the country as he once was. Whether that is through changing the world so that they become counsel to their clients, or whether that is investing in promising uh, local businesses, through 215 Capital to spare economic development. By working in dozens of boards, supporting the arts through time and funds, such as his involvement with the Philadelphia Museum of Art and the Philadelphia Orchestra. Whether it's getting our Philadelphians to care and engage through the Citizen Online publication. By investing in startups through the Dilworth Exchange and supporting them to create jobs in the region whether it's by improving multiculturalism, strengthening ties between India and the U.S., and being himself a great example of what an immigrant can achieve here in the U.S. through hard work and the right intentions. And probably the most visible of all the components will be the Germination Project, where bright, young, promising leaders from high schools uh, are brought together, supported and developed to be able to put the energies to make Philadelphia a better place. With his myriad of activities that he works on, I don't know how AJ has time to keep his hair so perfect, frankly. Well, I think AJ has uh, the whole package. You know, he has the acumen of a business leader, but he has the soul of an artist. He has creativity and imagination. So he kind of has both sides of the equation. He has this rare ability to, to see around corners, to get a glimpse over the horizon, to, to, to get a view on the next opportunity, the next trend, the next challenge, the next crisis, and, and, and to respond. And I think the way that this, uh, that this ability manifests in, in AJ is in this refusal to accept conventional notions of what a lawyer can do, uh, conventional notions of what an individual can do, and for that matter, conventional notions of what an entire city, the city of Philadelphia, can do. His ability to transcend so many different verticals while showing that he cares, but being laser sharp focused on results is something that I admire deeply and I'm not sure too many humans are capable of. He's one of those rare, multifaceted types of leaders. He understands the practice and the professional and business side of law. He certainly understands business, but he also understands the importance uh, of, of making a difference. He believes in giving back to the community. That's what good leaders do. Uh, it's not what's there for them. It's what they can give to the community. And, and make a difference. That's what separates him and sets him apart. I think AJ is a tireless defender of the uh, forgotten and the downtrodden. Uh, whether he's discussing uh, ways to put together urban gardens to help the hungry youth of Philadelphia, uh, or teaching them CPR for future preparedness. I think that his uh, style is more hand ups than handouts. Uh, and those that are, are down, he's, uh, he's helping up, and, and those that are up, uh, he's inspiring to move further. I remember the first night my dad came home and told me that we would be teaching 10,000 people CPR in low-income neighborhoods. This was a defining moment for our foundation because we set a goal and were able to measure its impact. Another night, my dad came home and he said that thanks to the help of Richard and Laura Vague, we would be purchasing a kiosk to help over 10,000 people learn CPR on their own. And that was a powerful moment because I knew that this was more than a project. This was a legacy. Hundreds of thousands of people die each year from heart disease. It's 
the number one killer in the United States, dwarfing most other things you might think about. So we gotta get this cure. We have to figure out a way to tame, to cure, to prevent, you know, all of the above to make sure folks aren't dying in the hundreds of thousands. So it's something we all take very, very seriously and AJ's shown a lot of leadership in advancing the cause of care uh, when it comes to heart disease.